Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to it, pussy slides in both kids. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the guala in my shorty bag. You know she wants a mom when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got the toys. Keep it coming, you were- Hey guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe, for those of you who do not know. Um, you can subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's fine. It is 6.14 in the morning. Also, don't mind how crusty I look because I literally just woke up like five minutes ago. It's hot. Oh! The reason I'm up this early, one half class today, two, my Spanish teacher decided to make the test open at six in the morning and close at 8.30. So she, she, she's doing a lot. This is the time I would normally have the class. Well, not this early, but I have it at eight o'clock, but I can't take it at eight o'clock because I have class at 9.30. So I need to wake up and get it. Ooh, don't call me. They're gonna call me. Thank you for using the Microsoft sign in verification system. Well, anywho, um, I'm gonna take this Spanish test. Am I prepared? Not really. I'm so glad she didn't make it in person because that would have been terrible. We only have 60 minutes. How many questions? Seven questions? You're lying to me. Okay, this might be easy. This might be easy. Oh, anyways, did I tell you what this video about? I'm just gonna take it out with me today. It's low key a day in my life because I'm a loner and I do it myself most of the time. So I'm just gonna take it out with me so you see what college is like as a loner but it's basically a day in my life because i do this every day be by myself so this is a regular day for me uh am i ready for this make sure to answer this test in a computer the test is online of course read the questions carefully answer them in spanish do not email me during the test. The test works very well. Do not email <laughs> It takes seven questions. If it's more than seven questions, somebody's getting beat up. Let's take this test, shall we? Not a video, though. I don't know what this lady is saying. I don't like when they give you a video to watch and you gotta figure out what they saying. I don't speak Spanish. I don't know what she's saying. And she talking fast. I barely know how to introduce myself. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. 39 minutes! Whoa. <laughs> I have 39 minutes left and I'm just sitting here. Oh no, wait. What if it's another video? Oh, wait. Do children watch? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. She's crazy to have this in Spanish. What are you saying right now? I'm not reading that shit in Spanish. What? Who killed George Floyd? The goddamn cop. You did all that. You did all this paragraph just to ask me who killed George Floyd. You could have asked me that without the paragraph. Everybody know. It's not. It's not telling me that. It's not telling me that. And the professors are sorry for the I am stressed right now. The hands of police. Shit. That's just gonna have to be the answer today. Oh! I have 30 minutes left. Oh, y'all doing a lot. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just finished taking the test. We're not even gonna worry about that test anymore. The test is in the past. I don't think I do good. Probably got like a C, if that. But it's okay because I have a 98 in the class. As long as I don't drop to a C, that's fine. Cause I can get a B up. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. And that one I just unfortunately lost. It's raining outside. It's 70 degrees but it's raining. Like, what do I wear? Now it's time for me to get ready for class. I just feel so off right now. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe because I woke up and like, I have class today and I'm not getting ready at the time that I'm known, that I normally get ready for. So I feel off. It's like, I don't even want to go to class anymore at this point. I'm not in the mood. Today is not starting off on a good, on a good note. I texted this boy. Don't ever do anything before you go to sleep. You're gonna wake up regretting what you did last night. This is something. Honestly, just want to say, oh, okay. Like, that's kind of rude because I asked a question. Who the fuck cares at this point? 
I hate when people say stuff, it's something that you can't reply to. Like, what do I say to this? I think I forgot how to communicate. I'm so serious. Like, I don't be knowing what to say. I overthink it. I, it's either I overthink it or I just don't know what else to say. I forgot the conversation, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Oh y'all, I got the job at Kane's. Honestly, we're gonna get into that later because I don't even wanna work. I'm not in the mood for that. I forgot what I was saying. I'm gonna get ready now. I'm not gonna do a montage because I feel like I do montages in every video of me in the bathroom. So we're just gonna skip that part today. And I'm gonna come back when I'm dressed. Actually, no. I'm gonna come back when I'm done in the bathroom making my bed or something. Why my hand? I'm just holding my hand. I do that a lot. Especially when I'm in the bathroom, I just hold my hand like this. I wonder why that is. I still don't know what to say to this boy. It's taking everything in me not to say, oh, okay. Because I don't be caring. It's cold. I should be getting ready right now, but I need to figure this out. I really want to say, oh, okay. Should I just say it? That's not really right. Oh, okay. Fuck it. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, do all that, and I'll see you on the I actually do my phone. Like I said, I got the job at Kings. That was the shortest process I've ever had with like a job. I had an interview Sunday, got the job that day, went into training on the following Monday. Am I lying? It was a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. But y'all, you have to wear a hat as the uniform. And I can't lie, I look kind of fly with a hat. Is it not giving? Hi, welcome to Canes. Hey, welcome to Canes. Hi, welcome to Canes. I won't be working there too long. I tell you that much. I will not be working there that long. Anywho, um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. First of all, I need to make my bed. What am I doing? Sorry, this is not like me. I don't know what's going on today. Hopefully this is just for now because I don't, I would hate for the entire day to be this like, not right. Let's talk about my plans for today, shall we? I just put y'all on the heater. Hey y'all better stay, don't move. Wow, this is different. Anyway, back to what I was doing. So the plans for today, I'm going to my other three classes today, which are child psychology, sociology of minorities, and What's the last one? Childhood disorders. Then, ooh, I need to turn in my COVID test results. I don't think I mentioned this, but because I'm not vaccinated for coronavirus, I have to get tested three times a week. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I have to get tested. I do it myself, but we have to do it on campus for the charity. If you're vaccinated, you only have to get tested once a month, which is stupid to me because people who are vaccinated can still get the virus, but we're not gonna get into that. So I have to turn in my COVID test before five o'clock. So I have some time, but I like to get out the Wait. Damn. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. It's giving sweats. I don't feel like trying to be cute today. It's giving sweats in the hoodie. Yeah, time for the pillows. I just washed my pillows in my sheets yesterday. Well, it's already Thursday? Time really flies. You don't wanna do something. My first day of work is Monday. Am I excited? No. I haven't even started the job yet. I haven't even started working, but I'm already tired of it. It's just the idea of working, having the clock in, customer service, answering to a manager, consuming all of my time. I'm going to pray and I'm going to give it to the Lord because it's in his will because it's not in mine. I've been contemplating. We're going to get into it later because I'm doing a lot of talking. I should turn on some music, huh? Like vibe? No. We have stuff to do. I don't have time to put on no music. Do y'all make y'all bed every day? When I'm at home, like home home, like California home, I don't make my bed every day. But when I'm out here, it's a must. I don't feel organized if my bed's not made. It just completes, you know, it just completes my day that the bed is made. If it's not made, then that means I'm sitting in the bed all day. Let's figure out what I'm going to wear. I should not Oh my gosh. What the heck? That's so disrespectful. Nobody told you to fall like that. Like, are you good? Are you good, camera? Oh, you're falling again. Okay. Do your job. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. I wake from my slumber. I wish I could call you up. Miss how you put your love on me. I would not be trying to pick out something that I haven't worn yet. I would just pick out the same thing that I wear every day. Because I'm recording, I have to switch it up. Because I can't keep wearing the same stuff. Only till you had your fill. Then you want to cry ill well. Really thought you know the deal. Oh, well, I guess that's what happens to 
I don't know why this took me so long to figure out an outfit. I could not figure out an outfit. I feel like this outfit is stupid. I just, it's just today. Today is just looking like it's not my day today. I don't know what's in the air, but it's not doing what it's supposed to do today. I'm over today. The day hasn't even started. This is my outfit though. I got this support black jacket. I mean, <laughs> support black jacket. Support black colleges. These jeans and these Air Force Ones. Basic outfit. Who cares? Not me. It's 8.30. Hey, I finished on time. I said I wanted to finish at 8.30. I kind of want some pizza. I had Domino's last night. I think I'm gonna put that in the oven right now and then I'm gonna go to class. I don't like the way this hoodie is giving, you know, Ku Klux Klan. Okay, that's a, that's a little better. And I'm wearing a hood. I had to, see, it was a lot. I had to wear a hood because my hair is like, I'm getting it done this weekend. So it's kind of like old. Woo! Look at the bitch braids. <laughs> So I've been wearing a hoodie lately, but it's okay because I'm getting my hair done this weekend. It's supposed to be 70 degrees, but I don't get hot. I could wear a hoodie all day long, so I'm not too worried about that. Let me go put this food in the oven. Do I? I don't feel like I look stupid. Put this in my backpack because I plan on going to the library during my hour break, so that's what. Y'all, I just got my flight information for my trip this summer. Not everything in the world is traveling. Everybody in this group chat is struggling with that Spanish test. I knew I wasn't tripping. I was like, this is this is kind of hard. It's my breakfast. This is very ghetto. I have a plate, but I just don't feel like eating it. I'm eating this Domino's pizza and this brownie thingy. The little cookie brownie thing. This is not a healthy breakfast. But when you're a college student, you just gotta eat what you can eat. I wanna be a healthy bitch, I do. You know, I wanna have like a scheduled meal times, you know. But the way my life's set up right now, it's just not, it's not doing it. It's 8.52, I think I should go. Hey. Let's get into it. So, and they had uh, not a tussle. <laughs> Why you dirty? He said, like, I ain't gotta explain myself to you. I hope she won. Y'all are so trifling. So, let's move on. Why would you do that? You cheat on her. She didn't have to say that. Don't get my shit away.
Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up Fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy. Just blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and them. I really wanna know you all. I really wanna show you off. My next class is right there. I normally go back to my room, but recently I've been coming in here and waiting for my next class. I hate going home and then having to leave again, so I just come here. Fuck God, pour up plenty of champagne. Cold nights when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and your girl in that little bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Nigga, don't approach your with that Atari. Nigga, that ain't good game, homie. Sorry, they say conversation. So I'm finally done with my classes. I feel like I've been in class all day long, which I have been, but like, I normally don't feel this long. Maybe because I went to the library. Um, right now I need to go get some money out of the ATM because I'm getting my lashes done tomorrow at 7 in the morning, so I need... This is so good. You ever had these? A Calypso? Get this flavor. The, um, what is it? Southern Peach Lemonade. This is the best one. It's not too sour, because the regular, they lemonade sour. I was talking about the ATM. Anyways, I need to go to the ATM. I can't go tomorrow because my apartment is at 7 in the morning, and I'm not going before 7 in the morning. So today it is. Relax. And then after I get some money, I'm going to... I almost hit that car. I want to go get some Olive Garden because I'm just feeling Olive Garden right now. I'm not going to go sit down in the restaurant. I'm going to order it. I'm going to sit in my car and I'm going to eat it because, you know, it's me and you time. I can't do me and you time in a restaurant because I don't want people staring at me while I'm talking to a camera. So therefore, I'm going to order it. We're going to sit in the car and we're going to talk. I'm so glad I'm doing my classes. After I'm done eating, I'm just going to come back in my room and do some homework. Typical day in my life. Typical Thursday in my life. Let's see where your girl. And Chanel and I, boo, sit up. He's coming and sitting because they know I'm not true. I have to change my pants. I hate wearing pants, honestly. I'm so used to wearing sweatpants now that pants are so uncomfortable. I didn't even want to wear pants today. I didn't want to wear no sweats to class because the outfits that I was picking out looked so bummy. I look like one of the people that just woke up and went to class. I don't like that. So I didn't want to be that person. It's windy as heck outside. I'm trying not to cuss no more because I realize that, you know, adults are watching my videos. I don't want to be that young adult. So I'm going to try to stop cussing. Well, not as much at least what was i saying it's cold as heck i mean it's windy i should have parked right there it's windy outside and if you have a jeep you know the struggle of trying to drive when it's windy outside this is me while i'm driving trying to keep the steering wheel straight let's go get some money out this atm real quick real brief i wake from my summer i wish i could call you up miss how you put your love on I'm at Olive Garden now. They had me on hold this entire time. When I was driving up here, I called them just so I could like be here and my food be ready. But I was on hold the entire time while I was driving here. And then I hung up when I was getting off the freeway. Cause I'm like, I might as well just go inside and order since they can't answer the phone. I love Olive Garden. It's my favorite restaurant. It's between BJ's and Olive Garden. I can eat these two things for the rest of my life and be happy. Pasta and salmon is my favorite food. Olive Garden has both of that. That is just like, a match made in heaven for me. Olive Garden is about 20 minutes away from my school. Every food place really is like 20 minutes away. They have like a food center, you know, like a mall. There's an outlet down the way and then this is like other things like food and like Ross and all that stuff. We gonna have a little mug bank moment, you know? Oh, that's not gonna be cute. So I moved from the parking lot of Olive Garden to Burlington in this movie theater. I used to work at this Burlington before I went back home for the summer. Ooh, breadsticks is so good. Another one of my favorite foods is bread. I got salmon with a side of chicken alfredo and I got a salad. Their salads are really good. I don't eat all them tomatoes and junk, but I like the other stuff. I don't know how people do these mug banks because I just want to eat.
This movie theater is the bougie one. You know, the one with the recliner chairs and they order your food while you're watching the movie. But they be expensive. I'd rather go to the other one. Speaking of the movies, I want to go to the movies. I want to see that Tom... Tom Holler, what is his name? Zendaya boyfriend. I want to see that movie that he in, and I want to see Jackass. Jackass is out right now, so I should go see that soon. If I didn't have homework, I would go to the movies. Aww. I want to go to the movies. Who eats these? Like, seriously? You look at those and be like, oh my god, yes, this is so good. Ew, that looks gross. I don't even want to get it. Let's talk about being a loner in college. I thought I was gonna come to college and like find my friends and like, you know, do it up for the one time. But that was not the case for me. I came to college, I made two friends. One friend I already knew before school. I knew her in California, Sydney. That's the one friend I mean. The other one is Jaywalk. Only reason I met Jaywalk is because of Sydney. If it wasn't for Sydney, I would have met Jaywalk because I'm just a very much reserved to myself type of person. And she's very extrovert and I'm an introvert. Me being around her, freshman year made me meet people. Them two was the only people I hung out with. And then sophomore year came around, we all kind of split up, went our separate ways. I'm still friends with them, but it's like, we just don't hang out anymore. I mean, it is what it is. That's not the reason why I'm a loner. Sorry, this bread is super good. That's just part of it. In all honesty, I just feel like I haven't found my people. Everybody that I meet or everybody that I, I'm like around, I never feel like, these are my people like I can fuck with y'all part of it is because I'm a very picky person if you even have one little tiny trait that I just don't like I'm just gonna not like you as a person I'm not gonna like disregard you and be like oh no we can't be friends but I'm not gonna ask you to hang out I'm not gonna do none of that I'm by myself 90% of the time if not a hundred percent only time I'm around people is going to class or the cheer team I don't hang out with anybody on the cheer team like out of cheer like on some like hey let's go get food Let's go to the movies. I don't hang out with anybody on that level strictly because I just haven't found my people I feel like I don't know. I just that's all I can really come up with is I just haven't found my people I don't call nobody. I barely talk like when I say barely I mean barely I barely talk to the people back at home in California What was I trying to do here? I was trying to shake it up, but like girl, there's no room in there I don't know what I was thinking where my fork at and I just feel like I'm growing out of everyone that I know I feel like I'm in my, my transformation stage and and everybody or everything that I used to like, everything that I, everybody that I used to be around, I just feel like I'm shedding from that and I'm just becoming this new person. And this new person I'm becoming, I don't wanna be around anything or anyone that I used to know. I just wanna change. And I can't change being surrounded by the same shit. I mean, my bad. The same stuff. I don't know what it is. This is just my life right now. And I'm just going with the flow. At first, I'm not gonna lie, I felt lonely. At first I was feeling lonely, and I was like, damn, this shit kinda sucks. But then once you get over that like feeling lonely part, it starts getting better and you start accepting that you're like a loner and that this is just how it is. And I'm at that I'm at that point where I've accepted it and I'm just going with it. I'm like, fuck it, I wake up, don't talk to nobody, go to sleep, don't talk to nobody. It will do. Now, what I'm not gonna say is I literally talk to no one. I do have people to talk to. If I want to go do something, I can call up people, but it's like, I kind of do want to be with myself. I don't know. It's just a phase I'm going through. Like, I want to be a loner. Like, I like being a loner. I thrive being a loner right now. And it's maybe because I'm not 100% healed from my past, and I'm not the type of person to want to bring others down with me. So when I'm feeling low in a sense, I'd rather just isolate myself and be by myself than to be around people and then act out a character because I'm not 100% okay, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm fine. Like, I'm not sad or nothing. Life is great. It's just that I want to be by myself. I'm so tired of being around people. It's crazy. Ooh, this salad is so good. Like, they dressing. Who made the dressing? That's who I want to talk to. Look at the big breads. I'm just going through a phase right now. I'm accepting it. I'm not mad at it. I'm not trying to push it away. I just feel like God is telling me, Zoe, you need to be alone right now. You need to isolate yourself. You need to work on yourself so that you can become the better version of yourself. And once you're that better version, then you can start attracting those people that you want. And that's how I feel. And I'm right now, I'm in that stage where it's like this. Like, I'm getting up there. And in this part right here, you can't have anybody around you because this is your part to, like, get up there. And once you're at that peak, that's that's when I'm gonna get those people that I want. That's how I feel. And I'm just trusting the process. I'm trusting God's plan. I'm not questioning it because it's all gonna make sense eventually. 
I go to the movies by myself. I started going to the movies by myself, I think 12th grade. When I started feeling like I was loner, it was probably like 12th grade. That's when I realized I was really a loner because I remember <laughs> the first day of school, 12th grade year, it was lunchtime. And there was this table that I sat at every day. Me and my friends would sit at that table every day. I went to go sit at the table on the first day. Nobody came to the table. And that moment I realized this is how my senior year is going to go. Being a loner. That moment I realized and I accepted it that moment. I was like, yep, yeah, well, we going to thug it out. You all you need. And ever since that day, I've been thugging it out, chilling, bobbing. But let's talk about the perks of being a loner. You can do whatever you want. You want to go to the movies? You don't have to call nobody to act. I want Olive Garden. I have nobody to compromise with. I can go because I want to go. And I can eat whatever else I want because I'm doing it by myself. That's one perk. Two perk, you don't have anybody bothering you. If you're mad, sad, upset, irritated, frustrated, it's all because of you. You did that. Nobody else made you mad. Nobody else made you sad. You control how you feel. I used to let people get me upset. When you don't surround yourself with anyone, there's nobody around you to make you mad. I'm more happy than I've ever been by myself. I'm so like over everyone. <laughs> Even the people that did nothing to me, I'm just over y'all. Like I don't want nothing to do with nobody. For a while, I don't want to be a loner for the rest of my life. That's a no-no. Don't get me wrong. I do be wanting friends sometimes. Like I do be wanting people to just sit on the phone with and call, you know, ask if they want to go do something. Cause sometimes doing stuff is fun when there's other people around. But you know, I just realized that I don't have that right now so i have to accept that back to the um perks i don't know shit that was it having no one to answer to for example having a boyfriend oh let me show y'all my food this the salmon and it's not for hell for example having a boyfriend you gotta answer to him you gotta tell him where you going what you doing i don't feel like answering to nobody right now i want to do what i want to do when i want to do it and who i want to do it with i don't have time for y'all asking me bugging me mind your business how about that but i have no doubt in my mind that eventually i will find my people to me being a loner has more pros than cons I am having the most fun. Well, I'm lying, cause no, my life used to be fun as fuck. 11th grade year, I was in my prime. That was like, woo! I don't miss high school at all. I'm sorry, I'm not that person that's like, oh, I miss high school. Would I do it again? Hell no. It had its time, and it was time to wrap it up and move on. I didn't cry. Graduation, I was excited. I knew without a doubt, I'm moving away for college. A typical day for me, I wake up, I'm either doing homework or I'm editing a video, and then when I'm tired of sitting in my room, I go get food, sit in my car like I'm doing right now, eat, watch some YouTube or Netflix, go back home. If I feel like doing homework or editing, I do it. If not, I sit in my bed and I watch movies. My thing right now is watching YouTube or Netflix or like anything Hulu, anything like that. That is my go-to right now. I will sit and watch movies for days and be okay. I can go weeks, days without speaking to people and be fine. I don't have to have no no type of social interaction. But I was also thinking, what if I'm just used to it? You know, I'm sitting here like, I'm better off that way, but it's like, no. What if you're just used to not talking to people that you just don't care anymore? I don't know. These are just things that I've came up with with my head, me trying to understand why this is going on. So I just came up with things. Like, I really want to know the amount of movies that I watched because it's a lot. One day, <laughs> I had looked up on Google, symptoms of loneliness. Literally everything that I've been saying to myself was listed. It was like, tends to binge watch movies, likes to be alone or isolated. And I'm like, but now I don't feel lonely anymore. If you looked at my day-to-day -day life on paper, it's lonely. I don't feel lonely. And these are probably just signs of being an introvert. And I'm thinking too hard about it. Like, bitch, you're just an introvert. Shut up. One day I was eating salmon and I was like, this used to be alive. Like, this used to be swimming. Like, this had thought. And I'm sitting here eating it. And I got disgusted one day because I'm like, I'm eating something that used to be alive. That's nasty. I get, I get drained. Damn, she didn't even look both ways. My social battery goes low so fast. For example, I go to a party. I can't go out for the next three weeks. Speaking of parties, I am all partied out. I ain't been to a party since last semester. That was months ago. I'm not really a hearty person, but I'm not against them. Like, I'll go to them and have a good time. I'd rather go do something like fun, like maybe go out to eat, go to the beach, or do something like that. I never know the music. I am an R&B, soul, sad music type of girl. Go ahead then, girl. Hey, I'm the one recording. But more of the story is, I'm I'm just growing up and I'm changing and I'm going to my next phase in my life and with that next phase it calls for some isolation so that I can get myself together and I can become a better version of myself and then from that better version I just keep getting better and better and better and better and better.
and that's how my life is going to go. I already have it planned out. I already have a vision. I have it in my head. I see it, and that's how it's going to go. Have y'all seen that Kanye West documentary? It is so good. I was watching it. I'm like, I freaking love Kanye. Even though he's a little weird today, he got something going on with him. I don't know what it is, but like, I low-key want to have a conversation with him just to see, like, why are you acting like this? Like, what's up with you? Are you okay? But the way his mom was, like, his main, like, support system was so cute to me. And he loved her so... <laughs> He loved his mom. I can't wait till the rest of it comes out. But if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's on Netflix. I love my Jeep. It's so spacious in here. And I love that you can take this off. It's such a me car. If I was a car, I would be a Jeep. No, if I was a car, I'd be a Tesla. Last thing about being lonely. I love that I can be by myself and still be happy. That's probably one of my best traits. Imagine actually being lonely and you hating it. That would be so not fun. I love it. I, blo I love it. This is delicious. You know you drink something so good, you gotta look at it. But thank you for listening to my TED Talk. It was like a therapy session. You know, I'm gonna go to my room now and do some homework. So I'll see y'all when I get back. psychology homework it's not due till march 6th but the way my life is scheduled currently with cheer and work and class i don't have the time to do this later so i need to get it done early so that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do let me see if somebody posted something on youtube so i can watch it and do my homework at the same time so nobody posted great what's on netflix <gasps> have y'all watched tinder swindler on netflix i put you on it's so good i'm not gonna tell you what it's about it was different but we talking about netflix here Netflix be having some out-of-pocket things and today the cast of Stranger Things posted the release date of season four freaking May we're in February January February March March April May three months we should have had this last year season three came out two Julys ago I've been watching Love is Blind too I want that black couple to make it nobody posted nothing there's nothing on Netflix I don't want to sit in silence do my homework I got a lot of stuff done today look I make a checklist for every day if I don't I'm not gonna feel organized literally every day I couldn't imagine just living life and not having a schedule like imagine waking up and just going with the flow like, how do you get stuff done like that? This is my only assignment that I'm going to do today. Because I ain't got Amy to do nothing else. And all my other assignments are essay that's not being done today. Yeah, I know. That most definitely is not in me. But for my psychology class, I have to fill out this, like, worksheet thing. Hopefully, it don't take forever. But this is what it looks like. Something about something stage. And it's four pages. Probably won't be four pages long. Because my answer will not be long. Delish. I need something like, I don't want to listen to music right now. What I gotta do tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday, aka my weekend. Got my lash appointment and homework, coke test. Tomorrow's a chill day. Saturday, I gotta buy some work pan and a belt if I can't find my belt. And then I gotta take out my hair, wash it, blow dry it because I'm getting my hair done on Sunday at 10 o'clock. So that's my weekend. And then I start work on Monday. It's my first day. I'm not excited about it. Like I say, y'all, I will not be working there long. Lately, I have been watching Keen and JC. I've been rewatching watching their old videos so i might just put on one of their videos i'm gonna do this homework enjoy this montage make it like your birthday i know katie perry i used to fuck with her heavy war that was my sh you're gonna hear me war. pause before we get into the montage let me ugh, speaking of my white people shit if you're ever in drought or if you ever need some music you need some white people music like that that you know say no more i got you my playlist my white people shit hello hello i got the bangers this is my apple music you don't gotta follow me but you can listen to my music though because if you got good taste in music i got you but if you into that other sh don't even look at it but for real i'm done i'm done talking now i'm gonna do this homework okay bye well not bye but like see you in a minute yeah 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 the press i want for sure you gonna need three promoters I got the body from Jamelis, but I had switched the motor. I got these badass bitches running around this bitch, and they all the coldest. Yeah. I just told her make a stoner. Yeah. I just bought all the Trojans. Yeah. 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 I told her make a stoner. Yeah. 
told her stab my nicks. I told her stop telling that thing she seen and told her meet me at the Ritz. I got a guess in the back of my ring and I went in trying to hit. I told her she gotta run through the team before she can talk to the lit. Before she can talk to the yeah. Let them talk, I just pulled up in some fools. I told her mama tie all my shoes. Showed her two million cash, now she woozy. Twenty matches and I'm still snoozing. I had came up out the trenches, then I had beat a few bodies like Goosey. She said you work on my show, you my coochie. I had to sing to the speech. Like so it is 7:57 and I finished my one assignment. I don't know why it takes me so long to finish homework, but it takes me a while. But it's okay because it's done now and it's over. I turned it in and we done. While I was doing my homework, remember when I told you I have an appointment, air appointment this weekend? Canceled because she talking about some. I gotta go out of town. Now I gotta go to class looking crazy on Tuesday with my hair not done. One thing about me, y'all, I don't know how to do nothing to my hair. Not put it in a ponytail, not slick it back, not nothing. And I have the world's thickest hair. So for me to not know how to do hair and to have the world's thickest hair, it's just not a good combination. And at this big age, I'm not trying to do my hair. So it's gonna continue to just get done eventually. I'll figure it out. Maybe, you know, when I get my own apartment, you know, I have time, I have space, I have money, you know, to try to like sit down and figure out my hair. But as of right now, that's just not in my to-do list. I'm supposed to take my hair done this Saturday, get my hair done Sunday. Now we are gonna push it back. I'm gonna have to take my hair done Monday. Monday I have work from eight to four, then I have practice, maybe if it doesn't get canceled. Hopefully it gets canceled. We get out of practice around eight-ish. So then I have to come home, take my hair out, wake up at 8 o'clock, go to class on Tuesday, and I get out of class at 3. That's pretty late in the day. And then I have to go get my hair done after that. I can't take my hair out after I leave class. I could, but then it would push it back very late. She doesn't do braids on hair that's not blow dried. So that's just more on me to do after I get out of class and I don't have time for that. When I mean like nothing, like I can't do nothing to my hair. At 19 years old, I don't know how to do nothing to my hair. That's because my mom always makes sure my hair is done so I never have to struggle. You know how parents, they just don't get their children hair done and they just be like, figure it out. And they have to learn how to do their own hair. I never had to do that because my mom never did that to me. She made sure I had my hair done. I never went to school with my hair not done. In high school, if my hair wasn't done for any reason, I just wouldn't go to school. So when in out, I'm just not gonna go to class. But I was also thinking, nobody gives a f about me. I walk in class, nobody's gonna look at me and be like, wow, look at that bitch. Because I'm me and I know like my hair's not done, that I think other people care, but in reality, they're not gonna think twice about me. They're gonna walk out that classroom and never think about me again. Even if they weren't even already not thinking about me. Did that make sense? Probably not, but you get what I'm saying. More of the story is, there was a more of the story. Anywho, I'm about to take a shower. Actually, I'm gonna watch Messy Monday and then I'm gonna take a shower. And that's the plan for now. Okay, so I'm out of the shower now. Y'all, look what I just did. So my retainers, I hope this is not gross. I remember when my camera fell off my heater. Oh my gosh, what the heck? And knocked down my retainers, and I didn't know my retainers was on the floor. So when I was scooting up in the chair, I accidentally rolled over my retainers. And I'm so sad, because these cost $500. And now I have to wait till I go back home. It's always something. It's always something. It's always something. Jeez. That could have been a simple fix. I seen them, picked them up. But no, I just had to not know that they were on the floor. What was the point? What was the reason for that happening? That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Along with me to my classes on a little lunch car day, doing my homework, going to the library. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Shoot, let me try it again. I will see okay in my next video. Wait, no, video. Hold on, that was a bit dramatic, bro. Come on, video. <laughs>